Now joined here by Attack Jojo Morasco and Stephen Keogh. Thanks for joining us, guys. Of course, thank you. Now, you guys have been working with each other a lot more this year. If you had to change one thing about your counterpart's game or preparation, what would it be? Um, change one thing? I don't know. Keogh's a great player, and he's, he's really fun to play with, but uh, maybe put a little more speed on those wheels. But uh, besides that, uh, he's a great player, and like I said, he's fun to play with, and I'm really excited about this season to play with him. Steve? Yeah, definitely uh, look forward to playing with him this year. He got hurt last year and uh, been working together well. Uh, I mean, he's got great vision and uh, he always seems to find me inside. I just wish uh, he stopped being a little hesitant on the passes, maybe feed me a little bit more inside. But, I mean, I think we work well together. So it's speed for both then, a little bit on the legs over there. <coughs> and you just got to pull the trigger a little faster? I guess so. I guess he's right. And he was talking to me about it yesterday, so we'll get after it. What changes for you, Jojo, when you play with someone as a finisher as capable as Steven? Uh, you know, just you know, trying to still play my game, but uh, Steven gets open so easily and it's so incredible. So it's, but like you said, just you know, pick up my speed and some of my passes, and I'm doing a little more of uh, running the ball a little more now this year, so I got to still, you know, if the ball moves faster than how I can move, so, you know, like, like he said, just move the ball to him a little faster, he'll get it back to me, and I can always get it back to him, so that's probably what I'm going to try to work on really hard right now. And for you, you've played with uh, with feeders like Nims, Lavelle, and Chris Danielle last year. Where does JoJo fit in among those ranks? Um, definitely, he's right up there. I mean, um, his, uh, his, his feeding ability is definitely up there. Uh, he's just, uh, <clears throat> he always finds me. I know, he, I think every time he comes around, he's goal, he tries tries to find me. I mean, I just kind of play my game and uh, kind of just be a little sneaky around the crease because I know um, his head's always up and he's always looking to feed the ball. Now I'm going to give you guys a couple of quick terms and I want you to, as fast as you hear them, say which one of you two is better at the following. All right? Okay. So let's start with uh, dodging. I'm going to go with me. I just haven't shown it yet, but uh, I think I, I, I got him there. He's, he's sneaky. Uh, I don't <laughs> know. He might, he, he might win it, but uh, we'll, see, we'll see when this, uh, the season starts. If I'm looking for an accurate shooter, who do I turn to? Steven, by far. Definitely me. Uh, I work on my shooting every day, but definitely Steven right now. What about power? Uh, definitely me, by far. I don't, think, I don't think power is uh, really needed as, as long as you get the accuracy. Just pick those corners. Is that your way of saying this one's not you? Yeah, definitely. I don't have the power. You can ask Galloway and all the goalies. <laughs> now, if we're in a freestyle competition and I'm looking for the trick shot, we've seen what Cody did with the uh, between the legs and what... Uh, Tim Dasko did in a couple of goals. What about between the two of you guys? Uh, I mean, I've been working on a couple of things over the off season. Now a couple of things, you know, trying to maybe pull out one or two in the in, uh, season. But, uh, you know, Q is very stinky, like I said before, very tricky, and is a very good player. And those hands are very, very soft. So I can see him doing something crazy this year. So that's, that's a vote for Steven. I'll vote for Keogh on that one. I'm going to go with myself on that one. I think uh, the, box, the box across um, background kind of helps me, with that, helps me out there. So now that you guys have worked together and developed somewhat of a rapport, what's the most interesting thing that you've found out about the other player, not necessarily on the field? Um, most interesting thing? You can really talk to girls. It's very smooth with that. But, uh, <laughs> no, he, uh, he's uh, just, you know, just on the field. He's fun to play with. And he's very exciting. And it's the same thing off the field. You know, we have a great time together. He's uh, fun to hang out with. And I just, uh, he's a great kid, and I love being with him. I think um, a lot of people don't know Joe. Joe is very emotional. I mean, he's not uh, he's not afraid to show, shed a few tears. Uh, he's always there for his teammates. Uh, him and his his roommate Fazio, they're like teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> one last one before we let you go. Looking at this season as a whole now, what is a good year for the two of you? Uh, just you know, just doing whatever you can to help out the team and you know get that that 12th national championship and you know whatever I can to put have uh, Keo put the ball in the net, so that's a good year for me. I think um, I just kind of need to step up my leadership. I mean, being a senior, being here uh, four years, it's got to um, be a leader out there. And I mean, uh, we're just going to work out, work hard every game. I mean, I uh, can't take anyone lightly. We saw that last year. And uh, just going to go one game at a time and hopefully come out with some victories. Stephen Keogh looking for a national championship number three. JoJo still looking for that first one. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thank, Thank you very much.